Hello friends, welcome to LMS Solution Research Support. In this video, we are going to discuss about an important comparative analysis between two different AI tool. An AI tool which is speaking which equal to ChatGPT nowadays is called Perplexity AI. We already made a video regarding Perplexity AI to how to make research paper using Perplexity AI. So here what, I, what we are going to do is we are going to compare that Perplexity AI with the ChatGPT content and which one will be the best for our research article preparation. So what is the content difference? How much plagiarism did that both of them is giving? So how you can use what is the important options available in this two of them regarding research? That is what we are going to discuss today. Let us go on to today's video and explore the difference between the two rival AI tools. First one what I am going to do is I am going to open Google Scholar. So here you can see different topics are there. So regarding multiport converters I am going to give a own topic. So in I am opening my chat GPT. So here what I am going to give is generate an abstract in about 150 words on title. analysis and design of multi-port converter for renewable energy integration and battery storage system. So this is the prompt I have given here. So I am going to give enter. So let us see how it will generate content for that particular thing. So let us see. So before that we are going to open an word file. So open a new word file. So copy and paste the prompt here. So this is the same prompt we are going to use in perplexity AA also. So after that content is generated using chat GPT. You can see our content is generated. This is the abstract generated by chat GPT. So here you can copy the content and paste in your word file. So this point next one is so it will generate it up to three paragraphs. So an important tip to generate abstract in three uh, in chat GPT is that you can you can give the number of words you want because some of the journals need around minimum of 150 to 200 words for an abstract. Some of us will give a common prompt like that to generate a content on uh, uh, that is generate a content that is abstract using chat gpt like that they it will give as a prompt means it will generate only up to 50 or 70 words so thereby you you cannot get enough uh, abstract content for your particular topic so thereby you can mention your words in your abstract also so here uh, our abstract is generated using chat gpt so what i am going to this this is using chat gpt i have generated this abstract so now what I am going to do is I am going to copy and paste the same prompt in perplexity AI. So let us see how it will generate content for that particular prompt. So here I am going to give enter. So let us see. So here our content is generated. So here copy this content which is generated by perplexity a so on copy and paste in word file so here you can see there are two different uh, content of the same prompt is generated using two different AI tools one is with the chat GPT another is one with perplexity AI. so we are going to check the plagiarism for this uh, particular abstract generated so in order to check the plagiarism I am going to open copy leaks so here it is uh, one of the plagiarism di direct and tool director tool so here click here click on plagiarism director so our page is opened click on new scan so free text so first I am going to copy and paste the plagiarism sorry the content generated by chat GPT for that particular prompt. So here I am going to copy and paste here. So now I am going to give scan. So let us wait for the scan report how it will generate plagiarism for that particular content. Now 
now here you can see that our plagiarism check is completed for the content which is generated by chat gpt you will be getting zero percentage match so you can see here the first content we generated from chat gpt is the integration of renewable energy sources and battery storage systems you can see here the content is generated for this particular section will be zero percentage match there will be the, uh, thereby you can use chat gpt the title i have given is a uh, generalized title here so it is not the title which is copied from google scholar or any other else it's a general title related with but with the topic called the multiport converters so next uh, the same uh, content which is gender that is uh, for the same prompt the content which is generated by perplexity a is this the paper presence and analysis and design of multiport converter so here i have uh, uh, generated this using our perplexity a so here i have copied and placed the same content here for plagiarism check you can see here this is the plagiarism check for the content which is generated by perplexity a so here you will be seeing a 40 percentage match uh, uh, for this particular section so thereby you can uh, see that chat gpt is generating a plagiarism free content for that particular title so and also nowadays chat gpt is improving to generate a unique content there are many prompts are available regarding chat gpt you can make use of this prompt wisely and you can avail a better content using this chat gpt also and also perplexity a also generating the some content which content which that some of the sentence resemble the some of the papers so you can make use of any paraphrasing tool or you can use the same perplexity AI to rephrase the sentence and you can make use of this uh, content in your research article preparation this is only for plagiarism check uh, regarding research paper because uh, many of us are uh, creating contents using uh, AI tools uh, before uh, creating a better content using AI tool we have to analyze uh, which uh, uh, AI tool will generate better content for a particular Thing. so you can compare different AI tools which is already available in our videos so thereby you can get a better uh, option for your content creation so hope this video will be very helpful for you so because this is a important thing related with plagiarism check between two AI tools that's a rival of chat GPT so thereby you can make use of this option to write a better research paper so thank you for watching our videos so have a nice day thank you and an important announcement that we are conducting an online workshop on mastering a so thereby many of many of you know already so here this is our brochure so the details will be given in the description of this video also so make use of this option and you can join our workshop and master in AI tools to write a fantastic conference and journal paper using different AI tools and chat gpt so thank you